Welcome to Orthodontic Diagnosis, a software or a CD based software, I should say, designed by McGill University with myself, Dr. Jean Marc Retrouvé. I'm the director of orthodontics at McGill University. And I will show you the capabilities of this um, e learning or virtual software to better master orthodontic techniques, I should say, orthodontic diagnostic techniques. So the CD is divided in different sections. This one is the facial exam. This one is a functional exam. You have the dental exam, which is the intraoral and dental cast analysis. We look at panoramic examinations. And then we are going to have a fairly in-depth cephalometric analysis for general practitioners. So let's start with the facial exam and I'll show you in the facial exam how that works. So the, on the left hand side you notice that there's index and the index has content divided in subcategories in this type facial type, reference midline, symmetry, proportion, analysis. And then once you, you finish with the sub modules, you can do an exercise where you have the same thing, facial type, symmetry, proportions and profile. As you can see, every content submodule is matched with an exercise. So let's do a profile analysis and as an example. So on the left hand side, you have a picture. On the right hand side, there is some text. Some text is highlighted in blue, as you can see. And every time you click on the text, something happens or appears on the left side, which is the picture side. So if we walk through this, and I'm not going to do the whole exercise, but you can see that we can build up basically by reading the instructions here on the right side and going, and by the way, you can reset the images. So you can basically build a profile analysis by just clicking and reading at the same time. See, we have Gabella lines that we trace, and we get some nasale, and then we get Pogonian soft, and then we have an angle, and this angle is basically what we use to determine the convexity of the profile. So, this is a simple and fairly efficient way to learn a way to have a profile analysis done, obviously then you have to expand on the meaning of the convexity, but this is designed basically as a first guide for you to better understand what profile, uh, profile sorry, convexities or concavities are caused by or come from. So then when you finish with this, you can go to the index and we went to the facial exam profile analysis, we can go into facial profile and then what you have here is now is a, is a photograph. And what you have to do is you do this yourself. So we ask you to basically place the points, evaluate yourself. You can, as long as the points is red, you can keep on going. If you get a little bit tired of not finding the point, you can go to the assessment well, the point will be positioned for you. In this case, I think this point should be a bit higher. So then you have the tracing is done for you. And then what you want to do is you have to identify the points that are responsible for the curvature of the face, which is upper UF, NF, and PG. So then you can answer on the drop down menu if you feel that this profile is normal convex or straight. Let's, for the sake of discussion, say the profile is normal. And in this case, you answer normal, so you would answer normal again. You evaluate yourself, but this was no good. So let's do another, let's say the profile was convex and it was caused by a retrognathic mandible, and you can reevaluate yourself. And these ones too are not where they are. You see, they give you the answer. The good answer was the, the Pogonion was the one responsible for the convexity in this case. So you can practice with different exercises and notice that the correct answer or the incorrect answers all have feedback. So let's move on to another way of uh, looking at the program. Now we can get out of the, we just did facial exam. F functional is a 
about the same concept. Dental is the same concept. Dental is an interesting tool that I'll show you in a minute. So in the dental, you have the index again with intro examina examination or estimations where well, you have all these sub modules again to look into and with the exercises also have the same sub modules. And let's just show you what's a bit different from this uh, exercise concept. So let's look at on the dental cast measurements, the Moyers analysis and procedure, which is right here. And we are going to give you some tables when they are needed. In this case, it's a table that's two size. And we show you how to basically work with a Moyers analysis. Once you've mastered the technique, well, you can go into exercises again. Let's take exercise two, Moyers analysis. And what's going to happen is now we provide you with an electronic Bowley gauge where you can measure the teeth and do whatever you have to do. You have the probability chart of the Moyers chart is right here. And all the directions are here for you to perform the Moyers analysis. So I'm not going to do it, but this is a way to learn a technique over and over again. You can evaluate yourself until you master the technique and you can really do a good uh, technical analysis with as much accuracy as possible. So let's move on now to a different setup where you have a panoramic exam, which is the same concept. Well, you'll have the normal dentition, normal dentition at 12 years, this was a nine. You have pathologies related to orthodontics, all listed in here by number of teeth, ankylosis, and you have some bone pathology, dental, cysts, condylogenesis, condylar resorption. So there are a little bit of examples of everything. These are not, this is not a radiology book, but it's, it helps you find out roughly what is needed uh, for orthodontic uh, diagnosis procedures. And again, in exercises, well, we'll ask you to this time look at a panoramic exam. These was by basically before, were done before the uh, digital era, so they're not as good as our new Panorex, but they still work. So you can now have a drag and, uh, drag and drop tool where you can find the, the problems. I can find anything good here, so I, I will put this number three in the trash, the same as this one, and the impacted canine goes there, or impacted third molar, sorry. Then I can evaluate myself and say, oh, and have the feedback telling me it's too early because you see these teeth are, are still in uh, this patient, I should say, still in this mixed dentition. So we're going to have to wait. This is will probably be impacted, but we can be certain. So we'll have to wait before getting a final decision. So evaluate yourself again. So that's for the panoramic examination tool. And the last one that we have is the cephalometrics. Well, you can refer to uh, another, uh, other videos for that. Um, and I will post the, um, post the, sorry, the, um, the other YouTube videos I've, I've done for this uh, particular uh, segment of the CD. So you have points that you have to, to learn. These are not all the points in cephalometrics by far, it's just for an introduction. You have some planes once the, the, the points have been determined. You have some planes, selanesion. You have some measurements, either skeletal, again, or dental and then obviously as usual you have to in, in, this one has an interpretation interest so maybe you can we can have a look at this as a true analysis so if you don't remember the angle SNA you can click on it and SNB you can click on it and what what it does too it gives you some ideas of what a class 1 normal malocclusion could look like in relation to a class 2 division 1, which is usually has a maxillary prognathism component and some uh, retrognathic uh, sorry, uh, element. So the A and B is usually larger. And then you can go into a class 2 division 1 with the micrognathic mandible and you get other views. And if you look at a class 3 malocclusion, you would see that everything is reversed. 
So it gives you, again, all malocclusions are different, but this gives you what the average malocclusion could look like. So in a nutshell, what's missing here is the treatment objectives and the pure diagnosis, but this helps you get to there. And we'll, we will, uh, through our website, uh, help you get a better diagnostic procedures on every single of your orthonic patients. Thank you.